What is up everybody, I'm Moritz and I'm a Shopify developer from Germany and I'm on the lookout for the best looking designs which are out there on the web and today we are going to be having a look at those shoppable videos right here. I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how this whole thing works. So those are a couple different versions. It is up to you how you want to design it at the end, but I'll just show you the whole functionality. So if you click on one of the videos, you can see right here, it's getting opened up in a modal and you can already switch to the next product. And here you can see the product it is getting linked to. So you can put in a video and the product itself. And today we're going to try to create something like this ourselves. That's the one I built already. And I'm going to show you how you can do this step by step and hopefully give you a nice idea of how you can implement it into your store as well. So the first thing I did for this is that I headed on over to the Shopify app store where I did get the section store app. So a component library with over 350 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components. And the one we will be focusing on today is called Shoppable Video. And myself, uh, I can easily charge hundreds of dollars for sections like this one, but you can get this one for a one-time fee of $14 only. And stating the fact that it is fully customizable, it is not slowing your store down, and it's definitely upping the conversion rate because you can gain trust of the customers with influencer videos like that one, or just where you highlight the product and showcase it in a really nice way and you can directly show the product. So I do think that's a big upper for your store. After successfully getting the section, you have to head to the My Sections area of the app. Let's let this load up real quick. And before you can actually use it in your theme editor, you have to add it to the theme you're using. In my case, it is the Dawn Light theme. I've already edited it there. And then simply hit Customize In, and then the theme editor is getting opened up. And here you have the one we saw in the beginning of the video. I already filled this with a little bit of content to save you some time. But if you would start completely from scratch, you have to scroll all the way down and hit shoppable video free. And that's the one you're going to end up with a default version, which is going to look something like this. But we don't want to have the default version for this tutorial because I do want to show you how you can style this and also the functionalities. And yeah, like I said, if I click on one of the blocks right here, if I maybe want to add another video, I'll just do that for the sake of this tutorial. I can select the product right here and the video, of course. So let's just go for this one, maybe really random video, but I hope you get the idea. And now I want to select the random product as well. Let's just maybe go for this. And here we can already see the sliders operating. And if I scroll further, we can see it right there. And if I click on it, the model is opening up as well. But I want to show you some general customizations you can do to the main block itself. Because if you click on shoppable video, this will open up. First thing you could change is the headline right here. Showcase of our products, for example, and it's going to update live. This is a nice thing. You can of course change the alignment, everything. Slightest per view. If I put this to five, we're going to have five in a row. Save it up, it should hope, hopefully show. And here we have five slides in a row now, perfect. We can also see that it's working perfectly fine on mobile. So this is the mobile version. If I click on one, like I said, this model is going to open up and you can switch through to all the other products. So we made sure it is optimized for mobile as well. And if I go down a bit more, I can change a lot of other things. can decide where the position is going to be on desktop, mobile, whatever. The last thing I could do is making some changes to the modal, to the roundness of the whole product images. And yeah, of course we can change a couple of colors. So if I would want to do that, that is possible as well. Like the play icon, for example, when you open up the modal, but you have all the possibilities in the world and I don't want to take up too much of your time because the end of the day, you want to customize it to your brand's identity. And let's have a final look in the live version. I just want to give this a little reload so we can have a look on the changes we've done and see if they got implemented successfully. So if I click this, the model is opening up. It's still functioning perfectly. And if I click on one of the products here, it is going to redirect us to the product page, of course. And that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. Hope you guys found it useful. If you did, always feel free to leave a like and a follow. And with that being said, have a good one and peace out.